Hello, welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. At the weekend, I was at, well, I was at a few places, really, but on one of the days, I was at Nintronics, the excellent hi-fi and AV dealership in Hertfordshire. And I was there because they was hosting an event with Focal UK and Name Audio. And it was a really interesting event for me and I think a lot of other audio files because the place was packed with a really great vibe. Jason Gould, name brand ambassador, gave three presentations throughout the day demonstrating the name classic hi-fi components or hi-fi Lego as he calls it. So basically he was showing the differences or the improvements that can be made to sound quality as you go kind of up the name classic range or as you incorporate more of the name ideal, i.e. dedicated and individual boxes or components doing dedicated individual jobs. And this was particularly interesting to me because obviously I know name as a brand, but I really didn't know the specific products or the components or even sound quality that well. So I really enjoyed and appreciated you know, the experience of listening to these components and the exposure to hear what the brand and components are capable of. I actually went one better. I managed to get Jason to come on camera with me and we just had a bit of a chat and kind of like an interview where he went into a little bit more detail about name, the components, what he was doing in the presentation. So what I'll do, I'll finish this video with that interview and then the next video will be pretty much one of the full demonstrations that he did. I've had to cut it down a little bit and it's about an hour long. So it's a pretty long video, but well worth watching and well worth watching to the end because that is when the system and things really start to cook. So just before I roll the interview, I need to hold my hands up and I made a massive schoolboy error. I forgot to press record on the A camera for the interview. So for the video of the interview, we're relying on the B camera. Now the B camera was being operated by Adam, who is one of the owners of Nintronics. So he's not a skilled camera operator. The 10 seconds of training I gave him obviously helped, but do bear that in mind with the video for the interview. One more thing before we get going, me and Jason had a little competition of rock, paper, scissors and I won. What he didn't realize is what he was playing for one of Name's statement amplification systems. So Jason, I'll be down next week to pick up my statement. I hope you enjoy this video and I certainly hope you enjoy the next one. If you do, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and definitely hit the notification bell so you get nudges every time we create new videos and there's always a lot of great videos on their way. So I hope you enjoy this one. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. It's the end of a long day. I'm at Nintronics, the hi-fi dealership in Hertfordshire. And I'm with Jason Gould, who is the brand ambassador for Name. And today, Name and Focal have been demonstrating an excellent foray of electronics behind us and really demonstrating the differences, isn't it, as you work, work up the range. Absolutely. And uh, filmed about an hour long presentation, which uh -huh. is actually one of the best presentations I've seen. So thank you. It's really interesting. It was interesting to learn about the name product. So you've worked for the company for how long, Jason? Uh, it's getting on for nearly 20 years now. So a really long yeah. time. And before that, I'd retailed selling it in store for uh, 13 years. Okay. So been handling the product for over 33 years now. It seems like the sort of brand to me that's got a, a long history, yeah. a lot of heritage, and a lot of fans. Um, but there's probably a lot of people out there that don't know too much about the brands and about sure. the product. So just a little bit of history about name. <clears throat> okay, please. so name was started by a, a person called Julian Verica, uh, the founder of the company. And uh, he was an entrepreneur, really. He loved racing cars, but actually had a real passion for music. And he would go and record his friends. And one of his friends was good on the classical guitar. And he recorded his friend one evening, went home, listened to it, and it didn't sound anything like his friend's style of playing. Yeah. So he looked at his system and he made his own speaker so you know he knew those were correct because yeah. he was a good engineer and good designer. Um, his recording deck was fine. His audio tech microphone was really good quality. But the amplifier failed him. And that company will remain nameless, but it was a good company at the time. Yeah. And that's how the company began. He redesigned the amplifier, recorded his friend, came back, listened to it, and it sounded more like his friend. Yeah. So he hit on something. And it literally grew from there. His friend liked what he made, his friend wanted one, and his friend then wanted one, and the company grew into what we know now. So several decades later, at least, yes. um, Name have got a massive yeah. range of products, which is what you've been showcasing today. And it was really interesting for me because I know Name as a company, but I realise how little I know about the different products, the yeah. different ranges of products. 
And as a company, you make standalone portable um, speaker systems. Only one user. Yeah, user yeah. Right to high-end, you know, sure. statement-based systems. So. In, in terms of what we were listening to today, in terms of the yeah. ranges, can you just give us a brief in terms of, I think we started yeah, with Sydney. Sure, I can, I can give you a brief overview and, and why the ranges exist and why they are multiple boxes. Yeah. So if we look at what we were playing today, we've started with an NDX2 streamer and we had the Super Nate 3 integrated amplifier. So those two products cost 8,500 together, okay? But they've got futures, they have legs, if you will. You can add external power supplies to them. And again, this all stems back from when Julian was designing his amplifiers. He would never put a power supply in a preamp because transformers and power supplies give off electromagnetic fields and those will swamp the audio signal. And in essence, what you end up doing is amplifying more noise than less signal. And if you're not amplifying the right signal levels, you're losing musicality and musical performance. So you have auxiliary boxes you can bolt onto these systems. Now, this isn't inexpensive it's a, a, a large sum of money but actually hi-fis can range from two thousand pounds to a hundred thousand pounds but it's great to be able to start in very humble beginnings and upgrade by adding products to this system electronic lego as it's been nicknamed so you buy a small set and you add a bigger set and the set gets bigger and bigger and you end up with a grandiose hi-fi system which you may never have been able to afford from day one because it ends up being 30, 40, 50,000 pounds, but started at a humble 2,000 pound price point. I really like the fact that that, that ethos really, where you don't yeah. discard, you, you, you improve on what you already you keep own. improving. There are times where you have to remove a component and replace it, but it's far and few between, and it means you can exploit and maximize your purchase for a number of years before you actually end up changing that component. And the residual value of name always keeps creeping up. Mm -hmm. And because you keep a product for three or four years, you end up losing very little money when you come to trade it in or sell it on privately. So we started today, as you said, with the Super Nate 3, was it? Yes. And the... NDX2. And from there, we went with additional power supplies. Was that, was that yeah. the first step? Yeah. So what we did was, was improve the integrated amplifier because this stream was very good, yeah. but it does like a better amplifier in front of it. And so by adding something called a high cap, which is a, a high capacity power supply, mm -hmm. This actually allows the preamp to amplify more signal, less noise. It's a bigger, better power supply than that is currently situated inside this amplifier, and we can exploit this further by That's doing that. And from there, we yeah. went to, uh, was it a different range of, of main no, products? We, we still kept the same oh, range, okay. and in fact, the whole dem illustrated the purpose of what I've just talked to you. So we added this unit here called the XPS2 okay. onto the NDX. Uh, the NDX. So, sorry, is that a, a power supply? This is it? a power supply. Yeah, okay, yeah. XPS standing for external power supply. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got some peculiar acronyms actually. <laughs> when you actually find out what they mean, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So the XPS connected to this um, this streamer, we turn off the internal power supply, and you get great gains. Again, you're amplifying more signal. You remove the noise from this box mm -hmm. because the power supply that was once on is now switched off, and this is taking control. And these actually use what we call a burn D cable, and that's the name of the plug, which has multiple pins, yeah. allowing us to drop voltage wherever we need to on that board in a split second, rather than going through various regulators and increasing and decreasing oh, wow. the voltage going through. Because across a streamer, you may need anything from 3 to 7, 8, 16, 24 volts. All these different voltages can actually be... Um, sent from this power supply and dropped exactly where they need to be rather than going through uh, regulators and long circuits effectively. So that's kind of like the umbilical link really that links Absolutely, between the two. Absolutely, yeah. And that's yeah. called, sorry? Uh, the burn decade. Burn, a burn decade. Yeah. Okay. And is that a name uh, proprietary? That's a, that's a name plug. We make all of our cables. Okay. You know, people are keen to tell us that cables make a difference. And we say we know they're important, that's why we make our own, because we keep that signature <laughs> yeah. sound. We know how it's going to sound, and we take that headache away from the person buying name. We say that if you use the cable in the box, it will sound great. We've only actually got two additional upgrades, Superlumina and power lines. Um, there is the high line. Um, most people go to Superlumina, but the headache's taken away. There's very little to choose from as far as accessories. 
we supply most of it with the product, Excellent. except speaker cable, because we'll never supply the right length. So, so from that system, we went literally up quite a few levels, didn't we, in terms of the de demonstration? So, yeah. again, I, I don't know the product range very well. So, can you talk me through what Shall we did? Shall I talk you through what yes, we went please. through? Yeah. So, Supernate NDX. We had the high cap power supply to the yep. preamp section of the Supernate. Mm -hmm. We then added <clears throat> this external power supply to the source. Source is king every single time. If you get the source right, you can then exploit the rest of the upgrades. So I was keen to move on to this power supply for the streamer. We then added a better power amp. So we disconnected the power the power amplifier from the Nate and introduced an app 250. We then moved so, so it went from an integrated to a pre and dedicated power. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. what we did was we we used the integrated amp as a as a, a preamp. Yeah. Okay. But then as soon as you've hit the power amp level you then have taken this as far as you really want to. And at that point, we added a NAC 282, which is a much better pre-amplifier. No transformer inside it, relies on a power amp if you're using a, sorry, a power supply, if you're using a NAC 250 power amp. And- well, an external power supply. External power like supply. a two box solution then. So okay. we, we had a, a high cap running this. Okay, okay. Then what you do, or what we did, was actually employ a super cap power supply, which is a much bigger, more robust regulated supply. And then we moved to a 252 and NAP 300. So we then moved the whole show to a much better preamp okay. and power amp. Same power supply for the preamp, the super cap. Mm -hmm. Again, you have avenues and pathways introduced as you exploit the system. And then by adding the 252 and the 300, we elevated the system to our very best classic level. And that best classic level Every single box will be power supplyless, okay, in its domain, but the power sp supplies sit adjacent, so they're away from the precious audio circuit. That was really interesting, actually, because yeah. I've never heard anybody speak about that before. Yeah. But it, when you discuss, uh, spoke about it, it made perfect sense, sense. What, what the theory was. So yeah. just explain and, and talk, talk us yeah, more. Yeah, sure. So uh, a power supply, uh, a transformer which we're very keen on using, gives off electromagnetic fields. And those electromagnetic fields swamp audio circuits, whether it's a streamer, i.e. the source, um, a pre-amplifier, and even a power amplifier. So by divorcing those power supplies into separate box, not only do you have more room to play with, so you can have a bigger power supply, but you actually isolate all the noise away. And that alone increases the sound quality. And we exploited that further by having it on two tables. Yeah. So the quiet audio circuits through here, which we demonstrated, have no power supplies in them. And the power supplies sit over this side, which is the super cap, the 300 power supply, and the XPS. So this is why you see on a lot of name systems where you have what looks like a lot of boxes or theory, a lot of components, but yeah. realistically it's trying to separate everything out Absolutely. and isolate everything as much yeah. as possible. Which so always remember, if you see a six box solution from name, it's three power cables, yeah, three yeah. mains cables. Because one box, if you like, one, two boxes are one item. Yeah. So a super cap and a 252 is a preamp, it's one mains cable. And that's because you use the Bundy link or... Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. to transfer the power across. Yeah. It's our way of isolating the noise away. So all these products are from the classic range? Yes. Is, is this the exclusive? Is this the entirety of the classic range or is there more? There are um, and a handful more. There are things like the 202 pre-amplifier. Okay. Um, there is a, a Superline Phono stage which incorporates a fully floating uh, chassis for the Phono board. Oh, wow. Because they're incredibly microphonic. Um, you have to really decouple them from the outside world. We go at great lengths of decoupling our products from noise and vibration. Speakers are a necessary evil. We have to have them to listen, but they create earthquakes and vibration through the audio circuit. And the more we can decouple this away from the outside environment and make these cases like, uh, if you like, an audio air raid shelter, the better the product sound. So right down to the foot, the table that it sits on, isolates away from the noise in the, in, in the environment. So what I've taken from that is serious attention to detail, Absolutely. to everything that I deem is important for being an audio file, really, and trying to get the best out of a, out of a sound system. Exactly. It's really and very then, interesting. And, and again, many people supply isolation platforms. We know it's important. That's why we include it in the design. So if, if you were starting with name, with no experience at all, yeah. would you suggest a classic range to start with, a classic product, or would you suggest above or below? Or? Yeah, well, you know, it, it all depends on your budget. I think... With name, there's something for everyone. So regardless of your budget, you can get that name fingerprint sound. Everything's voiced very closely. The more you spend 
obviously the better the hi-fi becomes the music be then therefore becomes much better if you have an, uh, a budget and you can afford uh, our entry point so an, an 85 si and an nd 5 xs 2 those two together will cost about 3300 which is less than the cost of that integrated yeah. amplifier um, it may be that you start with a muso qb and the muso qb and muso give you more than a good idea about what the name sound is um, i think if you've got the budget and you want to get great music at home i would always start with classic okay every single time unity is a wonderful product remember integrated all-in-one systems are wonderful devices i think it's probably true to say that we build the world's very best compromise and what i mean by compromise is that it's all in one box if you separate things out as we've discussed it gets better but you know when you listen to unity in isolation it's fabulous to the point where you think, I don't know if I need anything else. Yeah, yeah. This one box and this pair of speakers, whatever they may be, sounds wonderful. Um, but we always like a good retailer to give some of the experience of what multiple boxes can yeah. do. And I think if they aren't respect, restricted to space or budget, they'll probably say, yeah, do you know, I want multiple boxes. But if not, there's a wonderful solution, which yeah. is all in one called the Unity. Well, different people have different situations at home, don't they? Different uh, yeah. domestic space exactly. acceptance factor yeah, yeah. With, with, with partners and stuff. So it's nice to have different options or and that's, something to get someone started with the brand and yeah. then maybe they grow, grow over time. And that's a really important part because actually it, it isn't just about budget. It's how we live and what you can accommodate in your lounge. Not many people can do maybe a stack yeah. or two stacks but they need something simple. And so we have to design this into integrated boxes which have isolation inside them to stop the streamer interfering with the power amp and the power amp interfering with another interface inside. And Unity does a fantastic job and you can put it onto a sideboard or a, a chest of drawers or whatever it may be and it will still perform. Uh, first time I heard that the little Unity the first time was here, funny enough, a couple yeah. of years ago and I could not believe how good it was coming out of this tiny little yeah. actual box I was really impressed with that but the, the, difference, the difference in that obviously to the, this here today is huge difference so having all these boxes and all these yeah. amplifiers and power supplies we've obviously some big and very good speakers, very big speakers. it does make a, a really big difference in terms of things one other thing you, you mentioned was using a server or the service you sell you actually think is a better than a CD player because of well, certain factors which you I'll, mentioned I'll I found that really interesting I'll explain, so. I'll explain streaming really and ripping music correctly CD players lie to us it's called error correction yeah. so I'll, I'll be concise with this this um, this journey there's many people that come to us and say when are you going to build a bigger better CD player we did one called the CD triple five I think we introduced it 12 13 years mm. ago probably might be even slightly longer now and it was a wonderful CD player and still is. And there's a fraternity of people out there that would prefer us to build also another CD player. And we said, well, we can't, there's no point. We've hit the end stop of CD technology. And one of the things that was always a problem with CD is that they lie to us, it's called error correction. And if you rip the CD correctly using the core, which is a ripping system that we've designed to do an exact mirror copy you can do it in WAV and FLAC and MP3 if you wish. You're not going to do MP3 unless it's a, an audio book. You want to just keep for some, you know, fun. Um, WAV and FLAC are the two formats people use. FLAC is no longer required because storage space is cheap. So rather than modify that, that, that file and zip it down and then unzip it, we would prefer to keep it WAV, which is what the CD is. So rip in WAV. Keep it as close to the CD as you can. Create a perfect bit package. And then when you stream this back through your streamer, you end up with better sound than your CD player because it isn't lying to you. Now that's in a nutshell. There's far more technical uh, properties going on. Um, but yeah, that's that's really the, the, the way forward. So if someone wants to get into that and they want to get the core, for example, which I think yeah. is down there, is it? Yeah, the core down here. This, this product here, yeah. So they could... Basically, that, so that is essentially a CD ripper. Yeah. Is it a storage device as well? Yeah. Now, the storage device is a caddy in the back, oh, well, and yeah. it's fully serviceable by the end user, the dealer's customer, in that if you want to put a Samsung SSD drive in the back, you can. It's two screws, two screws holding the caddy in, yeah. plug it in, you format the drive with the iPad, it does everything for you. You don't need to be IT literate. It's very step-by-step. 
straightforward. You put the drive in and you rip your CDs to that onboard hard drive. We would always recommend doing a backup. That could be a NAS drive, a yeah. NAS drive somewhere else, just to keep a backup. Um, if you're using SSD drives, they're pretty unlikely to fail. We can say they won't, yeah. as soon as you do, they will. Um, but solid state drives sound great and they're reliable. They're obviously quiet, they generate no noise, and the heat is very, very low from them. And, and, then that, moving parts. and that core can be used with any of the name streamers within the, the well, range? Well, any of our name streamers, but anybody's streamer. Oh, wow. uh, there's other manufacturers, streamers, that are used by people that also use this product. Oh, wow. I, did, I didn't know that, actually. That's yeah, really interesting. Yeah. It's a UPnP device. So as long as the device can see it, you can stream music from this and will improve uh, the anxiety uh, equipment from someone else. Excellent. So the core, it has to be said, is the heart of a streaming system. If you really want the best streaming at home, you must have the best source. You know, a good analogy is if you could take your crummy old vinyl and put it into a special press that we made, pull a lever and out popped a 180 gram virgin vinyl edition of that record, you'd be delighted. This is kind of what it does to the CD. It exploits CD for what it always was. It's a carrier and we're removing the information bit perfectly so you can hear it the best you've ever heard it. So this is essential for high-end streaming. And as your streamers increase and get better in, the, in your system, you will exploit this further. Excellent. Well, look, Jason, it's been a, well, thank you very much for speaking to me. I You're really welcome. appreciate no. coming on camera with me. I really appreciate it. I had a really, really good day here at Neutronics, which this is all their demo kit as well, isn't this it? This is so, all their demonstration yeah. product. Uh, it's been good fun. It's all about enjoying. And as I say to the crowd, um, it, it's a test drive it isn't a driving test we don't interrogate people <laughs> it's have fun and enjoy well, it was a really good really interesting demo really well presented good. and i think you demonstrated where you start where you can go i'm sure you can go further than that but absolutely it yeah. was a really interesting way it kind of progressed if that makes sense and i think the message came through exactly what you've explained to me not just why you do it the benefits of it sonically um to the point where yeah at the end it was a really fantastic um yeah. hugh macasela track though I remember that one for a while. It was a really good demo. It's a good track. Yeah, yeah. it was a good demo. So again, if you want to hear the system, the Intronics have got it. You can come and have a listen. So get in touch with them. And thank you very much, Jason. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much.